Hey guys, welcome to It's Actually Science. My name is Justin and I'm a biology major here at Palm Beach Atlantic University and I'm in a class this semester, a genetics class actually, and it's really, really interesting. It, it's got me nerding out a lot, all the time. But anyway, I thought that I'd kick off the channel and the whole It's Actually Science thing with an episode about DNA. I mean, what's cooler than DNA? It literally makes up every life form on the planet, from bacteria to redwood trees to you and me. It's literally everywhere. So today, I want to educate you guys and show you how to extract DNA your very own self. Get ready, get excited, it's actually science. So, for this experiment, you'll need a knife, a fork, some salt, some isopropyl alcohol, a medicine bottle, a glass, a banana, some containers, a measuring cup, a couple coffee strainers, a Ziploc bag, some dish soap, and last but not least, a sock. So, first off, you gotta take the banana. Take the banana. Some people like to peel it from the bottom, but I don't really get that. So I'm going to peel it from the top. Peel it like that. Like that. Now you might be thinking, oh, that's the DNA, but no, nah, it's just a banana string. And then of course, you gotta chop up the banana and to make it easier to get the DNA out. So we're gonna take the knife, we're going to cut it up. So we're going to take the plastic bag next, open it up, and we're just going to go ahead and put it in there. So once you have the bananas in the bag, it's time to take the ice cold alcohol and throw it in the freezer. Next, you're going to take the bananas and you're going to just mash them up. Mash them up all real good. You want to mash it up really, really good, really fine, just until it's like a paste. And yes, you could brush your teeth like this, it'd be nice and banana flavored, but I don't know wouldn't really do anything. <laughs> Unless you put some fluoride in it or something. So next, you're going to take about a cup of water, about a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to guesstimate it. Some soap, dish soap. Just put it in there. Stir it around. Pour it in. Next, close up the bag, mix it up, squish it, slosh it around. Be careful not to get too soapy in there, but you want it to reach every little bit of this. So what we have here is banana bits, some soap, some water, and some salt. All that that's going to do is that's going to break down the cell membranes from the banana so that it can expose the DNA. But we also have all kinds of gunk and stuff in here, right? So what we want to do now is we want to strain it. So for that, we're just going to take a container here, pour it into the container. That way it'll be easier to manage having a container. Next, we're going to strain it through these coffee filters. What you might want to do is you might want to put some into a medicine bottle, close it up, put it inside of a sock, and then spin it around for about 30 seconds. And that's to simulate a centrifuge, which is what you would have in a lab, which basically just spins the DNA around so that the heavier particles go to the bottom and the lighter particles like the DNA come to the top. But I've had this setting out long enough 
that the DNA has separated a lot, and there's a lot of DNA in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rubbing alcohol, and I'm not gonna pour it in, but I'm just going to pour it down the side so that it doesn't stir up everything. Pouring a nice little layer there, and now we can wait. All right, so it's been setting for several minutes, and what you could do is you could take the fork and try to get it out, but a fork is, eh, it's kind of slippery, so I'm gonna use a skewer, um, and I just roughed up the edge here down at the very point. Gently poke down into the DNA. You can see it all swirling around down there. You just want to get in between the layers, kind of spin it around a little bit, kind of twirl it onto the you see it all clumping up. It's like a spiral galaxy. And there you go. That is banana DNA. Really cool thing about bananas DNA is that humans actually share about 50% of their DNA with bananas. That doesn't of course mean that we came from bananas, but it is pretty cool. DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, is a nucleic acid, as it's in the name, um, which if you've had biology one or something, you know is one of the four macromolecules. I'm sure you've all seen the pictures of the double helix, two helices spiraling around themselves around a the center axis, made up of a ton of little nucleotides. Why don't we go see if we can see it under the microscope. Let's go. Alright. So, come on over here to my little lab. I'm gonna put this on this paper plate right here. Let's look at this. Let's see if we can see that helix structure. So if we look over here at the computer screen. Wait. What? Why is there no helix structure? Oh yeah! That's right. DNA is actually really, really small. It's actually basically impossible to see with a microscope. In fact, you have to use electron microscopes to kind of kind of see it or use x-rays to kind of see the structure of DNA. So unfortunately, we're just stuck with this that looks kind of like mucus, but of course it's not. Ha, <laughs> it's DNA. Hey guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button, and maybe even subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to do videos like interviews with professors, random videos about science like this one, or even more technical videos, but let me know what you want to see in the comments below, or you can email me at itsactuallyscience at gmail.com. Go ahead and give me feedback, tell me what you want to see. I would love to keep talking, but I actually gotta edit this video, so I better make like a banana and split. So keep thinking, stay curious, because that's science. So once you have the bananas in the bag, you gotta get rid of the banana peel. So what you wanna do with the banana peel is you just wanna 